This is Dr. Shilpa Singhal, Consultant and Fertility Specialist with Billa Fertility and IVF. Today I am going to talk to you about an important topic that we find people are often tight-lipped about. We will be talking about masturbation and how does it impact the fertility journey. Let me begin by saying that masturbation is an absolutely normal human behavior and is very much a part of normal sexual development for any individual. In a recent 2020 survey, it was seen that in India, almost 90% of the people 18 years or more in age indulge in such activities. Let me help you by understanding that this behavior or masturbation leads to a reduce or reduction in stress and anxiety, helps in bringing a certain amount of calmness and happiness and improves the sleep quality. Hence, it has its own benefits. However, this is often associated with certain amounts of myth and taboos around the topic. Let's understand them. Now, for a normal fertility journey, for a patient to conceive, it is very important to have a good quality eggs in the sperm to result into conceiving a pregnancy. Now, the quality of the sperm and the eggs depend on the hormones that are released from the brain, which is FSH and LH. And these hormones are then going to create the eggs and the sperm and the ovaries and the testes which lead to the pregnancy. The masturbation process is dependent on the set of nerves that are surrounding the genital areas. The process is not at all going to interfere with the normal fertility potential of an individual. Hence, you should relax and not consider masturbation to impact your fertility journey at all. It has also been seen in studies that people who are married and yet indulge in a masturbation process often have an improved sexual life which increase their chances to conceive. Apart from this, let me tell you one more important fact. There is certain myth about masturbation that it leads to lowering of the semen quality, semen count and decreased potential to achieve a pregnancy for male partner. However, in our studies, we have seen that the sperms that are formed in the testes and then are stored in the ejaculatory duct when on storage is more than 7 days, the number of ROS molecules in the sperms increase. This increase in the ROS production lead to decrease in the quality of the semen sample that we are receiving for testing after 7 or more days of abstinence. This is true for each and every couple where the semen quality parameters are low or the semen count is low, we advise a couple to have daily ejaculations so that the semen quality can be improved. This helps by reducing the ROS levels and hence increasing the chances to conceive. Apart from this, it is absolutely safe to indulge into masturbation activities when it is not interfering in your normal day-to-day -day activities, be it your personal or professional life. Anything in excess is not going to have any help, but it is absolutely okay and there is no need to be shy from the topic for any more discussion on this topic feel free to talk to your fertility expert or reach out to us on our toll free numbers till then take care book a free consultation today 1-800-227-8255